Hello, friends, enemies, lovers, and even rivals. Welcome to episode 34, year 500 of King Arthur's Pendragon. I'm Eric. I'm your MC. I'm your host. I play everyone else. I'm excited to be here. This is the highlight of my week. Jim, what's up? Great. Doing great. Um, yeah, I'm excited to see what year 500 has for me. Nothing, nothing weird or strange or disastrous could happen. Such an awesome. No. No. Ah, smooth sailing. This and actually we're right, five hundred moves from the age of anarchy to the age of smooth sailing. I believe nice. that is <laughs> there was that yeah. part of it. Okay. Right? Yeah. yeah. Then, the then often... we enter the age of party times. Uh and then after is like party foul, Salisbury, USA. Sure. Looking forward to it. Okay. Please stop reading ahead. <laughs> I appreciate it. Uh, you never got to worry about that. I don't read. I, I'm incapable of reading. True. Uh, Colin, our troublemaker, please uh, tell us what's up. Nah, I'm good. <laughs> yeah. Wonderful. No, I'm, I'm here. I'm here to play. I'm, I'm, my club slope is flat. That's all I've got to complain about. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah. Is that what you're drinking? Yes. Just club soda. See? Nothing else. <clears throat> I get to celebrate because it's the year 500 with some scotch. So that's what I got. That's, that's, yeah, that's, good. that's good. I have whiskey downstairs, but it's like blackberry peach whiskey that I found at like a vacation house a couple of years ago. It's fine. So my fiance got something similar, uh, got peach like Jack Daniels peach whiskey and it literally just tastes like peach schnapps mixed with whiskey which is just mm. both of those things but worse mm. no I mean the Jack Daniels like honey is like that's very sweet yeah they I can't imagine overload it. the peach pe pe it literally tastes like peach schnapps with just the bad whiskey burning at the end of it it's just not it's not ideal like peach schnapps is fine you know what and, I mean? Like it tastes like the little peach ring candies, mm -hmm. but like and with the whiskey, it's just weird. That's yeah. Look, that's the decision you made. No, no. What the reason why I'm marrying this person is that okay. she apologized, <laughs> <laughs> and she's like, "I've regretted. I I thought this would be okay." Personal and it growth wasn't. is very important in a relationship. <laughs> yeah. Recognizing when you make a mistake and owning up to it. <laughs> that's that's the highlight. That's great. Peach Crown Royal does sound pretty good. I'm I've grown attached to brandy over the past two years. Mm. And you it's, have little, little it's still cheap glass now. No, I don't have a brandy sniffer yet. I'm not that fancy. And I don't own right. a globe to that opens up to keep my brandy in that. It. That's goals. Right? I'll know I yeah. made it when I have the globe. Yep. Uh, you when you have the globe and then you have the bookshelf of all of the I don't know, like various, uh, I don't know, naval journals and I whatnot and all the ships God, that you're making. You know, we have a family friend who is so up his own ass that he bought these like incredibly more expensive than they needed to be like gold leaf classic leather bound. He doesn't, he doesn't read them. It, it's like fucking great Gatsby shit. It, they're on his shelf because they look good and they are the classics. Yeah. Cause they are the classics. I want to appear educated. Yeah. No, who doesn't it's want to appear educated? Big Spoon, thank you very much for nine months of support. <laughs> you do. You've earned an heir uh, for your house. Congratulations. Okay. And your reward will begin playing, and we'll, intros are over. <laughs> uh, I'm buzzing out the big guns again today for our poem. I'm busting out Billy Shakes, uh, Sonnet 29, uh, the last lines of the stanza go. For thy sweet love remembered, such wealth brings, that then I scorn to change my state with kings. That's better. Love or rich. Decide. Okay. Um, so even though this is the year 500, we did promise that we we're going to do a quick cut to like 499 slash January 500. -y. Um, so let's say it's like very, very, very early. Uh, Irwin, um, you arrive at your standing stones in the woods. And um, to your surprise, it is warm and humid here creating a like a verdant little almost like a greenhouse feeling right of, of humidity like a little little bastion of early spring here furthermore there's roses blooming here 
the roses grow around the stones and the edges of this place and the roses color is up to you and your choice now i've made an attachment in our uh, roll 20 here for you to do the to look at them but i will go ahead and read them for chat and stuff as well it's called roses um and so the here's here's the suite that you get to choose um this is the idea here is that the color will represent your life or uh, your your wife and the love of your wife and uh, what best represents it and because it is literally your love and your passion is which gives them their hue uh, the first set is the amethyst roses which represent a calmness or poison spirit if there was a slogan for the amethyst roses it's none could ever turn my heart from you the black rose black roses are cons are about consuming love about possession and about a singular focus uh, none shall love you but my but me you know uh, indigo roses are an enduring love unyielding in its will and that i will always fight for your love moss roses are kind of the opposite they represent a humility a shyness uh, about its its declarations of of admiration um, it's my my glances will always rest on you even from afar the orange rose represents vigor and vitality, love that is very carpe diem. Um, let us rejoice in our love. Pink roses represent a love that is both uh, affectionate and human. Um, it is not necessarily pure romance, but almost like a nice love among equals and friends as well. Uh, almost a disinterested, uh, blooming love. And my love is innocent and pure. Uh, white roses are the representation of the opposite of showing affection is I love you not. And then lastly are yellow roses, which are the same color as sunlight. Um, and it, they represent a pain of misplaced affection, uh, which is I care for you, but my heart belongs to another. Um, I have an idea what you would pick. But I'm kind of I'm really interested in in what you what you think here. It has to be one color. Yeah. You don't you don't get to cop out and be like, well, these ones are green. You know, no. Yeah, yeah. I I mean, like, my first instinct. Number one, lines with house model. And in a sense, he did fight. Struggled. Oh, Jim, can you raise your mic? You were fine, and then all of a sudden, you 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 dropped. Yeah. How's it, how's it now? Uh, go another 20%. I'm sorry, y'all. Better one, better two. Better, better two. Two, better no, two. for sure. All and right. also, I, I apologize. I don't know why Twitch is not letting you transcode below 1080. Hmm. That seems weird. So apologies if you can't do the 1080s. Uh, I don't know what to do about that. Yeah. I'm good now. Yeah, it sounds okay. good. Yeah, you sound perfect. Right. Cool, cool. So my first thought was Indigo because like the I will fight to win your love. He did struggle. He did he had to endure in that sense, unyielding. Yeah. But I also kind of like just red. Right. Like, I've, I think I skipped over red. Which, love is purified through suffering. Yeah. Yeah. Love of overcoming obstacles. Right. Good. And, I think I'm going to go. Yeah. What do you pick? All right. So it's between those two. I think I think red fits like it's I mean a cliche you have the opportunity to have some really cool colored roses but yeah. like love purified through suffering his first wife died he had to he he had to he, there's obstacles to overcome in terms of his uh pursuing his wife yeah and winning her love and it's just I love you there's nothing else to it okay yeah so the, where red roses bloom uh, I did my prep stream this weekend, which is on YouTube um, for people to watch. And I was wondering if you would choose between red or blue. Mm. Um, I thought you would maybe have picked red maybe five years ago, but I wasn't sure if that's still the same way. Yeah, and I think it, I think it really fits. Uh, I'm, yeah, I'm satisfied with it. Go red. Yeah, perfect. Awesome. Um, as long as you maintain these roses which doesn't cost you anything other than uh, one Librum for upkeeping the shrine in mm -hmm. general. You'll have a permanent minus one to fate. Cool. And misfortune. So misfortune. 
misfortune. Sweet. Yeah, I, I pay that upkeep. I got it in my sheet. Yeah. Here's a, sh a sign of your love. Uh, cool. Um, we go over to Winterborn Gunnet. We go to your manor. Um, riding up to you are our duo. Um, Aiden comes along with uh, Sir Brethric. You know, Aiden being the squire to Sir Brethric. Mm -hmm. And um, Sir Brethric kind of enters your hall, uh, Gareth. Uh, you knew he was coming at this point, right? And this is sort of, you know, we just cut to the scene where you're seeing him. Uh, and he goes, uh, uh, my liege, Aiden has, uh, it's about Aiden. I need to talk to you. Go on then. Well, as you know, he has served me dutifully these past few years. And, well, he might be a little young, but uh, given the circumstances... And given his passing of his father, I humbly request that he be knighted this year by you. By me? I, I sort of was hoping that maybe he could have his father's manner. He seems, he seems like the right enough lad and we can use the men. Uh, Gareth is going to look to Adrian. Sure. Yeah. He was outside. And like he, you know, he's yeah, like, wait here yeah. and come. Yeah. yeah. Now I'm, I'll be like, call Aiden in. Aiden, boy. You know, he comes in, um, cautious, nervous. What think you of Oddstock? Well, it's the only home I've known since coming here. Grown fond to it, but not too fond. Like, he's afraid to say, like, I, you know, I really like it to you. Do you deserve it? was your father's it would pass to you were you of age were you a knight but, but I am no knight I've... it's not what I asked do you think you deserve it he thinks about it I think you deserve someone who would take after, uh, take care of it. I think that's me. Down on one knee. And yeah. Gareth's going to draw a sword. Yeah, and we knight him. Aw. Yeah, he goes on one knee and you have him repeat the words. Yep, then I slap him. Yeah, right? May that or, be the or... last. Yeah. What is it? It's like, may, the, may that be the last uh, thing you, offense you take unanswered or something like that? Yeah, something like that. I forget like the words. That. Yeah. So audience, imagine that we said much cooler things than we just did. Yeah. Imagine the coolest words for a knighting speech. Yeah. In fact, do that for the next hour and a half, if you can. <laughs> <laughs> may this be the last blow you receive unanswered. There we go. Thank you, Big Spoonie spoon. coming through. Thank you. Always clutch. Mm-hmm. Awesome. So um, Aiden will be taking over Oddstock for his father. Yeah. Despite like being 17. If, no, 17, right. He's not, really not far. So this wasn't yeah. super right. weird. And basically that's why he, he was asking, like, like, can we just like push it? Yeah. You know? And I think we, we talked about it. That was on Gareth's will he? Already. Will this be official? At, but will he still be kind of like a squire as far as like order of operations goes or like on a field or is he going to be his own knight entirely? Oh, hell, if he's if he's asking to be a knight it's gonna yeah. be a knight i'm not okay. micromanaging yeah. him anymore if he's not a squire mm -hmm. you know that is in gareth's mind like that's okay yeah that's the way right so this isn't just a symbolic knighthood this is like Absolutely a literal not. right yeah okay perfect all right cut back to erwin erwin you dream of someone trapped and bound to a tree with thick green vines weaving and coiling around them, their face and body are covered, save for one arm and grasping out of the vines to anything, searching for anything it can hold on to. Uh, they're mumbling something. Uh, adieu va me! Adieu va me! Uh, you know, through the, the mumbling of the vines. Um, help me in, in perfect Latin. Imagine that was perfect Latin. Yeah. Mm. I mean... 
I feel like Irwin would try yeah. to grab, try to hold on, try to pull them out. Yeah. You know. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Um, can you uh, test your strength? You mean the one that I lost two points in last time? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Okay. Um, you, you, you're fighting through the, the vines and um, you're able to make some headway, but the vines keep growing more and more. Um, but you're able to see his face, uh, and he looks like kind of at, uh, relieved that, um, you know, this, this, this y kind of younger than you, uh, man, um, in some sort of like, not like a toga, but, uh, old Roman, not even like a soldier's kind of garb, but just a, like a, a Roman, not, not an official or patrician kind of level, but mm -hmm. kind of just a middle class kind of person. Equestrian. Yeah. Qu yeah, exactly. Um, is there and they see you and uh then all of a sudden the earth begins to shake uh and you wake up as uh your your wife is angrily dismissing a raven out of your window going like out out with you out get get uh, so it's been it's unresolved mm. um but you remember his face very well okay um he has a crooked nose But uh, you obviously, you never met this person before. I'm not saying, like, you can recall this person. Yeah, yeah, it's just, yeah. Uh, just, like, can remember his face when he wakes up. Don't like that. Yeah. Reason. Yeah, exactly. All right. Irwin, the Irwin will uh, have a I, yeah, distracted yeah. for the rest of the day. Yeah, your wife, uh, your wife looks to you, right? She, she turns over to you and she's like, oh, no doubt this thing was looking for a place to rest. Uh, sorry, sorry to wake you. All right. Disturbing dream. Oh, you want to tell me about it? <laughs> yeah, he, he will. Um, yeah, someone trapped to a tree or tied to so? a tree. Some Roman, the old. Who says? Roman. Yeah, who who speaks Latin? Priest? <laughs> like you know, like what? It's like here Romans? in England. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. How do you? How do you? How many Romans do you know? Yeah, like who could it be? And like they, you know, you like it. There's, there's no, um, yeah, the only one you, he knows is Siagrius. Yeah, they begin to go through like people who it might have been at court, you know, mm -hmm. right? Like it can't, oh, like, are you sure it's not so and so, kind of thing, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, but yeah, it's there's no, uh, there's no rhyme or reason to who it is. Um, cool. Uh, is there anything you all want to get done uh, this spring? Mm. Off the top of my head, I think, actually, yeah. I I mean, so Pedrog came back from that raid, yeah. To which, where was it? Sure, Ilminster. Uh, yeah, uh, Ilchester. Ilchester. Did he? I mean, did they? Did he come back with any loot, Pedrog? Um. Yeah. Okay. He should have. Uh, can you roll two d six for me, please? Okay, you came back with uh, three Librum worth of loot. It's customary that you get one. Okay, all right. Uh, th that was really what I was curious about, because if you mm -hmm. kept any of it from Erwin, that would mm -hmm. be... And, yeah, there was a, a point of order um, from a couple weeks ago. Kings, kings do as kings do. Um, as far as the king and not paying debts and things like that, uh, I mean, he, he's a king. He was going to let you raid and do everything anyways, but, um, you know, you, you not following his orders, mercenary or not in front of everybody else is a bad look. Uh, and so <laughs> no one's, no yeah. one's going to, there's no, there's no legal recourse for you, uh, to, to, um, you know, to say like this king treated me unfairly, right? There's no practical legal recourse. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Uh, there it's... is, <laughs> there is swords. <laughs> swords. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, and again, honestly, Gareth got horses out of it. It's all he fucking wants anyway. Yeah, you literally <laughs> stole horses. to replenish that shit. Yeah, right. you stole you you did steal those horses from King Andrus. Uh I still don't know, speaking of horses, what my special horse does. Oh, it's doesn't it's not a mechanical benefit, it's a breeding benefit. Uh they sell for a little oh. more. Uh they have, I don't know, like it's some sort of aesthetic thing, right? It's a skin. Mm. Okay. All right. Right. So it's like, like dappled nice or something like that. 
Right. Nice force night skin. This is the one that's yeah, sponsored right. by Red Bull. Yeah. yeah. It does the dance. It does the Fortnite dance. It, it does the floss. I <laughs> my body's fight or flight mechanism just yeah. No, it, it's it's like a dappled one. Sorry I didn't give you a, a nice um thing for it, but just imagine no. something. Cool. Well, I should have I didn't make so it I didn't put it in my notes. I could, that means I could up trade, maybe. True. Also, it means that if you wanted to, you could try to breed it. Yeah. If you want to you go into the horse breeding mini game, that seems like a good pre-retirement hobby for Gareth. Yeah. yeah. Now on on the down curve of his of his military career, he needs something. Yeah. Needs something to do. Yeah. Is Why watching not make a bigger bone. target on yourself with a big horse. It's true. <laughs> it's true. Really, <laughs> it's horse <laughs> horse breeding mini game should be core to sixth edition. Yeah. Saying it. Yeah. Is that and rating, right? They go hand in hand, right? Yep. Yep, no doubt. No doubt. Studs right. and studding. That's yeah. uh, what we're doing. All right, cool. Um, yeah. yeah. So the only thing that that Ir Irwin's just going to keep an eye on Bedrock. If he's still like a hothead, and um, you know, going around with his swagger, then I don't know. Irwin's just keeping an eye on him. He's, I smell trouble. Um, I mean, he's Pedrog, so the answer is yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I just, uh, which Pedrog do? Pedrog the first. Okay, thank you. Yeah, we now have the knight, not the now, squire. Now my background Pedrog is almost a full NPC too, so it's gonna it's only gonna get worse. Yeah, we're yeah, gonna yeah. have a lot of them. Yeah. Um, I mean, is it like a he's just like full of brat, you know, just like piss and vinegar, or is he like actually insubordinate and like because if he's just like eager oh. and wants to prove himself, that's Erwin doesn't have a problem with that. No, it's actually more than that. Uh, the big thing that he's been uh, dealing with is that he's been hanging out with uh, someone else. Mm. And I'll tell you in just a second. Cool. Um, hanging out with a bad crowd. Mm -hmm. Actually, yeah. Yes. Um, like okay. Uh, he gained a servant. Did he? He came to Gorthering. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> oh, let me add that to the, the list. Yes. Yeah. Something. Something. Uh, He's been bossing around this servant. Um, it's probably some some prisoner. Yeah. It's interesting. We're we're playing in a historical period before the invention of other names. So. Right. It's like. I think it's another two hundred years before we get another six names. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And. Uh, it's yeah. interesting though. The technology you know, isn't there yet. It's crazy. <laughs> Deal with all these same names. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Something to do with the like potatoes being imported. I don't know. It's... Yeah. Yep. Mm. Prisoner of Pedrog the first. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. Uh, so okay. he's been kind of preoccupied with that. Uh, sure. This guy's he thinks he's worth more ransom than what he is like he's like at least worth a Libram is what he says but you know this guy probably or like whatever he's such a low impact person that anyone he would pay for him is you know what I mean like no one's gonna like yeah. he's nobody yeah well, he's look, just a the first Pedro. no relation because <laughs> <laughs> they're not actually <laughs> uh, all right I'll figure out what to do with Pedrog. Yeah, this is the um, this is the merchant Pedrog, right? Yeah, this is the merchant. son of the merchant uh, Pedrog who bought his way his, into being a knighthood, uh, knight here. Back such when a, there was a king, a, and such a nice such like things boy. could happen. Such a sweet boy. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, he's been kind of like riding high on that. Um, yeah, it's kind of the first time he's had a position of power over somebody. In that way, besides obviously peasants, but this is kind of like an equally kind of person that he bested in combat, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's a little different. If it's if it serves it's a as different. an outlet, if it serves as an outlet for him, that's all right. Mostly, it's just Irwin's got his eye on him. If there's any, yeah. any sign of trouble, if he starts him. wearing like a sleeveless tunic that like they, he cut himself, with, like mm -hmm. a patch on the back of a snake or something, that you, yeah. that you step in. That's yeah, you really got to step in. Yeah. Uh, fortunately, you don't, you don't have to worry about that. Unfortunately, right. though, I have worse news that you do need to worry about. Mm. Rated? Worse. Mm. Pillaged uh, looted? Both. Both of you. Um, wow. Both of you are getting attacked in the spring. And because I rolled this, 
uh, because it's that bad, um, I'm I'm making a thing of it, yeah, and yeah. that uh, because of also all of the time you spent as the sort of uh, confederacy or confederate of the the born thing, confederation. Um, do you want a war bandit? You want a war bandit? Do you, I'm trying to use war band as a verb. Would you have ridden out against these riders? Uh, you're about equal equal in number if you would bring everyone to bear. It's 12 on yeah. 12. Um, as far as you know from the banners, there are no one from nearby or anywhere. You can make a recognize roll. I'll make it recognize. I think I started boosting. No, it's heraldry, this. isn't it? Is heraldry when you're in armor? Heraldry. Uh, yeah, heraldry is in armor. It's, it's, and, I didn't and you all would have a chance of knowing this, although this would be a very deep cut. Not yeah, a that no, no ideas, right? Uh, no. It's it's um, based on the 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 decorations. It, they the they have money. They come from somewhere. They're not a, they're not a mercenary, uh, but they were under Uther at some point. It's like all you can tell. Okay. Okay. Right. Uh, yeah, I, I would I would want to ride out against them. Sure. Uh, yeah. Again, yeah. this is what the confederations for. Right. Mm -hmm. The mm -hmm. stakes the stakes are um, one of you is pillaged and one of you is raided. So yeah. Um, okay. Sure, but now you risk you risk death. That's right. every day, my man. I, I, amen. Day. Hell yeah. Okay. Um. So I think they're they're attacking from the north. Uh. So you're gonna be running out to like Sir Myth and stuff around kind of upper shoot, right? So this is gonna be a woodland engagement, uh, which means mm. everyone's fighting at minus five again, right? Uh. Oh. There's gonna be, especially if you're on horseback, right? Uh, right. the, I, there's no, there's no line for you to make through woods. Right. Uh, so this is, you can skirmish, right. Uh -huh. As best you can. But, um, the idea of charging into their, their line is not going to happen here. No, no, no. Okay. Right. So it's going to be nasty. Yeah. But we're pretending this is better than a brawl in the woods, but, yeah. but no, it's very much a brawl, brawl in the woods. woods. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah. That's anarchy in a nutshell. Cool. Mm -hmm. Um, so I guess Erwin's leading this then, right? Leader of the, the group. Yeah. Yes, he is. All right, show show uh, show us what everyone worked for. Um, test test your battle. Is this a battle at minus five? Um, no, Just because the actual fighting would be uh at minus five. Okay, pretty spicy. Was... Okay, you beat me. Awesome. So you're gonna be uh picking the field here. Uh, okay. So here are your options. Um, and there, here's what's going on. Uh, so it, it is, it is definitely a, a, about half, half to a full dozen of knights, you know, like 10 or so about 25 men at arms and I, against your, your, um, about 10 knights with maybe like a little bit less, you, you have more knights, but fewer men at arms than them. Okay. Uh, your options here are, uh, you can either try to draw them further into the woods and look kind of like I give them a trap. Uh, and fight them on your your turf, or um, you can try to deliver a decisive blow, and and try to hit them out, um, and hit them hard, um, right? High risk, high more high risk, high reward. Right. Um, how would you, how would you uh, lead the battle? Uh, last time you kind of like ran off and hit them in a charge in a field when they could when they were wanting to match you. Yeah, uh, but yeah, yeah. yeah, as a leader, what does what does the leader of this of this group want us to do? kind of want to lay a trap for them mm -hmm. only because it we're slightly outnumbered mm -hmm. and the confusion of an ambush or a trap would even those odds out right so i think that's what we're gonna do. Mm -hmm. cool you know you know they're here for plunder um and you, you could use you could use a hard hit as a way to get them away for sure yeah um okay so we're gonna go for an uh more of like an ambusher and so you're gonna lead them in we're gonna dress one of the squires up in a bunch of gold right and have him ride past going oh gosh oh, no. i'm so slow and laden with treasure oh uh, well, too too late for things like that but yes <laughs> um you will be you'll be baiting them in yeah uh, you, oh yeah by virtue of you know this land better than they do and they're not really expecting a a resistance like this right yeah they're probably just expecting us yeah. to run by the right? the concept the concept that you have all kind of banded together and are doing your own sort of defense has not really extended out anywhere. And so this this group is not really prepared for it. 
functionally what we've done is instead of doing patrols of like two or three nights it's like patrols of like fucking 10 to 12. yeah exactly you've you've kind of tripled the night uh nightly patrol around your area in particular okay uh, cool let's do it yep we do it all right so you're going to get a plus five advantage to this first round of attacking um you don't have to do any like stealth ambush kind of thing your battle this was your choice um it's going to negate the woods uh for this cool. first engagement um you're still unable to charge though okay because the 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 Just woods will woods. yeah exactly however you'll be getting plus five that being the case i'm wondering if mechanically i should even bother with lance right if we're not getting that sweet charge bonus because Correct. of the woods yeah. Yeah. might as well start with sword yeah. i mean you skill. could fight on horseback with spear it's fine uh, you know, you could, oh, my you, you could use six. That's garbage. Yeah. No. Oh, well, you use, uh, you use, the use the Kimrick. Use use the Kimrick family one. Uh, use Lance yeah. for spear. Yeah. So like you could uh, do that I mean, if you want. Yeah. No. I'm I'm going with sword. Uh, sword yeah, sword. Sword. Like I can't can't fail. Cool. Right. So. Strong strats, thick yep. tacks, can't lose. Same. Yeah. Oh, right. On Arwen's word. Good job. Um, okay, and you all get to fight uh, at least a one on one as 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 a benefit of this ambush, right? Oh, starting off strong there. Yeah, <laughs> All right, uh, Colin, coming at you first. No, don't though. I do by one. <laughs> Jim, one. Jim, coming at you. Yeah, also success. Go. Okay, so both of them hit. Uh, these knights are strong, but not um, nothing. You know, they're hitting you with five d six. Uh, so Colin, damage to you. Colin, twelve. No, nothing. Uh, a glancing blow. Uh, Jim, damage to you. Ten. Nothing. Wow. Nothing. Yeah. Wow. Wowie. That was inconclusive. Rolls. Yeah. All right. We probably put ourselves as the oh anvil um, in this anvil hammer situation. You know what? No, oh, forgive me. Um, no, I messed up this round. I didn't give them the minus five. Uh, they actually oh. failed. Oh. Oh, then uh, I. I literally forgot to write minus five on them. Um, the first one, the first no, the first I one can't. still succeeds though. First one still succeeds. Colin, they still get you, so that happens. But Jim, N we flip. Wait. I got a six. Yeah. Seven minus five is two. You don't get the minus five. We don't get the minus right. five right now. Right. I got, I got, I rolled a six. If their roll yeah. is modified by minus five. Oh, you're modifying the skill. Sorry. This, yeah, the skill, not the die roll. Yep. 16. Nope. They're rolling against big, an 11, not a 16. Yeah. Big smooth brain. So I rolled a 13 instead of an 11, over an 11 instead of the 16. Okay. Uh, okay. So the second one misses. Uh, so, so actually, Irwin, you would. Irwin hits his. Yeah. Or when you get to retaliate. <laughs> of course you do. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, awesome. you do. Milk that 5d6 for as long yeah. as he has it. Yeah. And because it's a full fail, he doesn't get to use his shield on this. So that's actually nine damage through. Yes. Oh, jeez. Uh, his horsemanship. Yikes. Big yikes. Falls off his horse. Six extra damage, fourteen damage to him. That's that's almost a major wound against me. Yeah, uh, it's not a major wound against him though. Uh, but fourteen damage to a knight who is now dismounted and prone on the ground. Very, very nice. Very, very good. Very good, Erwin. Oh yeah, cool. Um, two more rounds of combat. If anything else changes, uh, then we'll do another battle roll. But if you're able to okay. defeat your opponents, then we will call for another battle roll earlier. Right, with uh, so are, with a bonus, we are now rolling uh, mm -hmm. at minus five. Mm -hmm. But uh, your so your ambush is successful. Um, they're they're unable to repeal uh, or rebuff your attacks. Um, they're they're caught. But you see that now their full might will be coming to bear. Colin, test your might. Success. You beat them, Jim. Yeah. Test your might. Why can't I roll? Okay. Do it this way. They succeed. I got a four to their two. <laughs> yeah. I love it. I okay. love it. It's just a it's just a nasty, no grace. Just it is uh, it is very much like a scene out of um Would I gotten a, would I gotten a bonus because he's prone and on the ground? Yeah, you should have actually gotten a plus ten. Okay. You want me to re roll or just take that four? Um I mean, it wouldn't. Yeah, you should. You should. You actually got a nine total. Like you would add plus five to the roll because after you go to twenty, it like just adds extra number to it. Yeah, yeah. 
Yep. So you, you still didn't you didn't crit is the point. Right. So like adding it when when affect the roll. It's not gonna change anything. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, and this other guy though, uh, the other guy's got to make a horsemanship test. He stays on his horse. Uh, and because he succeeded, he'll be taking three Jim. points of damage from the wound. But then Jim comes over here and crushes it. Uh, 24 on top of 16. That's 8 extra damage to him. Alright. Uh, he's not doing great at all. Uh, he should have had... No, he should have had further... Uh, God damn it, dude. I cannot fucking play this game. I don't know what's going on. Um, he should have had further penalties for being prone and standing up. He should have a further minus 5. Um, so he still would have succeeded, though. Sure, yeah. Okay. One more round. One more round. All right, so if he's prone, uh, he's stood up now. He's, he's stood, stood up. up. Okay. Yeah. So I'm now it's forced. No, so you get plus five. Plus five. So I'm rolling at my full skill. Yep, you're rolling at my full skill. He's rolling you at minus ten. Oh, so close. Wrong side. He fails against you and Colin against you. Succeeds. Fuck. Not my best showing as a swordsman. All right. Uh, and I, I take. I don't get my shields. So that's uh for eight now, or so that's six. That's twelve damage to him. Yeah, he's down. Um, or when you dispatch oh, was, your knight. It's his roll. Um. Against me. So so we just see this quick scene, right? Of like you you charge into him. Uh, you do m almost all your damage of thrusting at him, right? That like it it carries through when he gets knocked off his horse. He tries to scramble around, and you just like hit him again. Uh, really hard. Uh, he as he's disoriented and just goes down. Um, Colin, you are. I got hit Make and I don't get my shield. Capitalism, drown us all in its golden yeah. showers. Golden I'm showers. I'm thinking Shower Gareth might capitalism. call on passion next round because this is starting. Yeah, to hit. it could be. This is starting. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so you don't even get your you don't get your shield on this one. Maybe why you shield. you you take a um take a gander at what's going on with Jim or with Erwin. Um, you were broadsided uh, for 21. Yeah. Now this is a real one and you know this isn't scripted. You took damage. Yeah. Your yep. role awareness. Yeah. Hor uh, horsemanship. Minus five. Minus five. Yep. It's, it's coin toss. I'm okay. You're okay. Um, you can minus five the horsemanship because of the woods and stuff, right? It's not as easy to control a horse when it's yeah. like not wanting sense. to go. Yeah. Okay. So you're able to oh, steady yeah. her out. Yeah. Steady legged. Mm hmm All right. Um, so you make a make him uh, another battle test. While while things are going a little bit rough for uh, Colin, it's not indicative for the whole battle. Um, you seem to be getting the upper end here. Uh, you just need to do one more battle versus their battle. Uh, but their battle's getting uh, minus five here because they are on the losing side here. Um, nice. They fail. Okay, cool. Um, now let me ask you this question here. Um, the day is going in your favor. Um, you, do you want to, like, push? And uh, do you want to go for captives? Do you want to try to, like, just, you know, fight them off? Or, or like... If you want to go for captives, we have to go for another round of, of melee combat. Give you the full mm. stakes of how I'm doing this. Right? We do like gritty turn by turn combat. If you want to just like kind of make the decisive fight now, uh, then we can just do a quick um, like sword versus sword kind of thing. Gotcha. And if you win and then they, they break. Right. Okay. What is his assessment of the of the rest of the battle right now? Like they're, the Raiders are losing. Yeah. But, uh, with that 12 on his awareness. Is, does he? Because he see how like how bad it is. Like if he presses, yeah. is, are we going to lose a bunch? Or yeah. So your your awareness and your your existing battle skill is that um, you don't you just simply do not have enough information to know if okay. uh, how how these other knights really will will fight. Um, sure. If if they're half as good as as Gareth, then you're going to be fine. It's going to be a little bit of a scrappy win, but you win, um, right? But or or someone could die. Right, you don't yeah. know. Yeah, man, I really want to send the message that uh, that they don't come up in here. I think let's go another round. Okay, yeah. Let's, let's knock down drag out here. 
I'm okay. a fan. Cool. Um, um, I will roll survival rolls for some of these NPCs at the end of it. I think yeah. I think I'm going. Gareth is going to invoke his honor passion. Uh, which is, I have not. I've had this thing sitting at 19. I haven't used it for like a couple years. Mm-hmm. Um, I think this is Gareth being very unhappy with his performance and being like, no, like, I am a fucking knight. I helped put together this confederation. I need to show the fuck up. I need to show up for myself and also to remind people that I am Sir Gareth the fucking Dauntless. Yeah. And there's literally one number I can roll that would fuck. So we're good. (laughs) Okay. There you go. Right. There you go. Okay, so you're having so this is this is literally like the halftime speech moment where like you turn around <laughs> and you're you're ready to get him in the second half. Yeah. Oh no. I I think so. Gareth like imagines his wife like through the trees just hear hears her voice say, You are Gareth the fucking dauntless. Show them. Nice. A just helmet in badass position. Yeah, I still need to roll well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you do need to roll well. But you are getting your, your honorary plus 10, right? Yep, yeah. so net of plus 5. Yeah. All right, um, so we're going back into the battles here. Erwin, this is against you. All right. Colin, this is against you. All right. Easy. GG. No crit for, for Erwin. Nope. Colin, no crit for you, but you do do your damage. Okay, so both of you get to do your damage. That's five against six, this six, guy. Six, six, six. The damage of the beast. Because mm-hmm. he uses shield, yeah. And you do 14, which he pa- Wait, he passed against you. Yeah. Okay. So didn't get he, but he failed against Colin. So Colin, he, this, your, your opponent takes the full might there of uh, 11. We're fighting a different different one. Yeah. Each fighting our own. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> all right. He stays on his horse. All right. Two more rounds. Let's do it. Yep. Against Erwin. You you best him. Just one. Ben, against Gareth. I crit. Oh no! Ah, demon! I still, I still beat him, but he crit me. Ah. And the crit. Um, what happens is that uh, your sword gets knocked out of your hands because ah. a, a, a tie of uh, we would call it a tie with a sword versus sword. Um, because you would you would win right with an eleven. Yeah, eleven beats ten, but crits. but it, but he crits. He crits. Yeah. So there's part where like yeah like you you crack through his sword right and like you both your swords fall and you're there with him like do you just like tackle him or or like do you grab your draw your sword or or your squire or like what do you do? Uh, fuck. like you're passionate out of your mind right now. Yeah. Right? right. Like he like full on like tries to parry you and you just crash through it, but it, uh, by doing so, like the sword just falls out of your hands as well. I, I'm gonna. Is there a way to like fight defensively while I get my sword? Yeah, uh, you can take yeah. a full defense. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Like, fuck. I mean, he has to do the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like it's oh, just a turn of not not attacking. Oh, he <laughs> lost his sword too. Yeah. Oh, oh. In that case, I'm impassioned with honor. Yeah, uh, like that's Gareth what I'm asking. Just, I'm Gareth, sorry, yeah, I, I, didn't, I didn't explain the like, situation well enough. Oh, Gareth is gonna like suggest be like you would definitely suggest have... that we get out of get down from our horses and finish this properly. Yeah, yeah, awesome, cool. So you square up, yeah. So you so no, that's awesome. So yeah, uh, he he's like weaving, it's... heaving, and like so be it, yeah. and like yeah, adjust like his I, chain mail. I pick up, I pick up his sword. He picks up mine. Yeah, we, we exchange them. Yeah. <laughs> As the sounds of clashes of battle. Uh, I imagine right. like the battle has kind of moved forward a little bit than where we are. Yo, yeah, absolutely. I love it. Yeah, I was waiting for the band of bo- uh, brother or uh, sorry, Saving Private Ryan moment when you're just chucking helmets at each other. 
I thought about it. If that hadn't been impassioned, I think that's where Gareth would have gone. Would have just uh-huh. tried to tackle him off the horse. Yeah. <laughs> Love it. Okay. Um let's 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 do this one. Alright. I'm impassioned and I'm still getting garbage balls. You are. But you you're better than his garbage. That's and Erwin, Erwin, you are that's not the four for him. For Erwin. Oh, the four is for you. Um, sorry. And this one is for Colin. Oh, yes. yes. Ooh. All right. Him. No shield this time. Oh. Good thing that you didn't get advantage of a shield. Okay. You're not going to kill him. Come on in. That's it. And... Jim. Hold on. Damn dogs. Those are my dogs. <laughs> and Erwin does 15. Yeah. Okay. Uh, 12, so that's 6. 6 gets through there. Okay. Um, so then we have more, more battles. Right? That was round yeah. 2 of 3. Yes. Okay. okay. Jim. That one. I fail. So we both fail. We both fail. It's just okay. a dirty, nasty woods fight. It really is. Yeah. Um, at this point, like, yeah, uh, several of their knights are down. Some of your knights are down. Um, they're they're looking to run though, right? Because mm. this isn't worth it. This isn't you know they're not. This isn't looting. Yeah. Um, if they're running, I, you know, always leave them a way out so they don't fight to the death, tooth and right. nail. Yeah. So, but this is, unfortunately, you guys are still engaged with the knights in sure. front of you, right? Yeah. 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 So yeah. we're doing this. So one last sword, be sword. Yeah. Jim, this one's for you. Colin, this one's for you. Ah. Come on. All right. So I get on. I get. I hit on you, Jim. Yep. And I twenty-two. Get hit. Six points. Uh, you're on horseback, so you have to make horsemanship at minus five. And Colin, you wall up your guy. Oh, good strike. Erwin's All right, you fall, you, Erwin, you fall off your horse as well. Take another six damage. <sighs> That's a second wound. Yeah, it's a second wound. Um, wow, okay. Fleeing, he just... Yeah. Prevents Erwin from following. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think that's what he's going to do here. Uh Colin, you he needs to make his own uh this is a dexterity test now. Yeah. No, he is down. Yeah. Uh, taking six extra damage. This guy is fifteen twenty two. He's not quite out yet. Um, so, but you, yeah, uh, if you wanted to take him prisoner, like as he like falls down in the mud and stuff, uh, this yeah. would be the time to take him prisoner. That's exactly. Yeah. Garrett's going to try and kick the sword away and be like, I think we're having something roasted tonight at the manor. I cordially invite you. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That makes sense. Um, so yeah, you're getting a prisoner knight, um, or when you get bested as that knight rides off back on his horse, um, what about the first night, the first night he's dead. You got him good. Yeah. Uh, well, I guess he's unconscious. Technically you could, you could, you could aid him and, um, save him and offer him for ransom. No. Or you could kill him. I'm going to kill him. Ooh, nice. Cool. Um, Got okay, the anarchy in your blood. Yeah, you got, you got, that's the anarchy. Uh, It'll okay. Come up in my house, in the shoot wood like that. Mm-hmm. That's um, true. This is your backyard. I need yeah. you all to roll. Uh, can you all test me survival rolls for Sir Myth and Sigbert? I'll roll. I'll roll Myth. A kind of. I might be a little bit involved with them, just personally. They're, They're right. okay. Sigbert. 
they're, they're, they're a swamp point. night. They're like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, <laughs> this is only <laughs> Tuesday. <laughs> uh, cool. Okay, then I need uh, a couple more. Um, I need one for Aiden. I need one for Aiden. Uh, I need one for uh, Brethric. Okay. And uh, I assume Nista is also helping out, right? Yeah. Okay. 2D20, the first one's for Aiden. Ooh, yeah. Aiden. It's okay. It's okay. okay. That's you're a low okay. roll, bud. Yeah. yeah. It's okay. Um, you all, you all are okay. Um, Aiden, can you roll? Uh, no, roll, roll, roll damage for me for against Aiden. Roll a uh, five d six. Okay. Thirteen. That's not enough for a major wound. Yeah. Okay. So he has no scar for it. He's okay. That's kind of the question was whether or not uh, they they live, but whether or not it's a uh, a wound. I'm gonna flesh this out a little more. I like the yeah. idea of that um, and yeah. kind of abstracting the damage at the end of it. And okay, ah. scars. Yeah. Um, Ori. A little Ori battered, a little broken. Um, yeah, each of you will be gaining twenty five glory. Skirmish in upper. Um. So Erwin, you're getting no. Erwin, you should uh, you should double that glory. Fifty. Nay, triple it because you're also the leader. Nice. Seventy-five. Um, you should. You originally should have doubled it because you fought two people, right? You were able mm -hmm. to get through to two, yep. and then another extra twenty-five because of your leadership. And I don't get extra glory for taking the prisoner because I get money instead. Correct. You don't get any money for for a prisoner. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry. You don't get any glory for a prisoner. Yeah. And glory. Um, you will be getting money though. Armor, horse. Uh, when you ransom somebody, you don't get to keep that. No, the one for the one that Erwin kills. Oh, for the one that he kills. Yeah, you would have. Um, you could. You would have a set of armor for a knight. Um, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. obviously damaged again, so you have to spend to one of the pay. two to do the upkeep for it, right? Rather than yeah, getting yeah. fresh ones. But uh, yeah, you would have a, a fresh set, assuming you spend one. At leave this them. point, armor and horse is more valuable than me. Yeah, if you yeah. send to send to your armorsmith, yeah, you have a you have a backup set. Yeah, uh, and run, yeah, and obviously uh, your horse is a charger. Uh, can you roll a d12 for me? For for the actually. Um, for the for the age. No, the question is whether or not you're able to get the horse. Okay, it does like bolt. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, does the horse? Of, yeah, that's right. He was on horse the first um, time. Yeah. Does the horse bolt? Um, I think it's a fifty-fifty. Can you roll a d twenty on a ten or less? It bolts. Sure. All right, yeah, bolts. there you go, man. I feel like that's the fair way of doing it. Yeah, we're talking about arm arms and armor. Yeah. Uh, I knighted Aiden. I got to pay You're... for his stuff, don't I? Yes, you do. So when you get a chance, tell me how much that's. It's two. Back. It's two Libra. Universal aid. Including the horse. No. Horse. Horse is 20. Yeah. I might owe him a horse. <laughs> Moriad has a horse. Never mind. Okay. So it's two. So right. It's You're, he's riding his father's horse. Okay, so he's probably going to need new new ones soon because that's not. Yeah, his horse is probably not that old. I need to roll. That's like legacy. Look, probably. look, man, I'm already rolling survival rolls for like a hundred and something fucking people. Um, yeah, you, you do I really want to roll yet? horse survival rolls for for everyone as well? Like, I don't know, dude. Uh, that might be a little, that might be a little too much for me. Mm. But although I kind of like it, new, it would could make a new Excel sheet. I could, <laughs> dude. Did you read my mind? <laughs> it's like, although, <laughs> oh, shit. on the other hand, okay. Uh, well, you were able to. Congratulations, y'all! You saved yourselves Wait. from being raided and pillaged. Oh um, yeah, you with blood. Blood. Yeah, I'm out of commission for you. Fought at yeah. least two weeks. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. yeah absolutely. He's got two six um, uh, six wounds. Gareth, you didn't die. I didn't yeah. even get a major wound. This is like literally like the second time that's ever happened. Mm -hmm. You had the call on your passion. And I think um, of the knights here, who would have saw you? 
view in that and probably would remark to it. Uh, anyone in my lance? For maybe? sure. So Berthric. Like Berthric or... Yeah. Yeah, he would probably would say, like, you know, uh, my liege, you, you fought with a, a certain clarity I haven't seen in quite some time. <clears throat> There's the way out of every fog in this world, Berthric. I shall find my way out of this one. Aye. Oh. I'm proud of you. You did. You fought valiantly. Yes. And now yeah. I get to discover who raided us. Like kind of yeah. gesturing at the Call. guy on the horse. Yep. Uh, through, through, um, it doesn't take that much, but you know that these are all knights under someone named Sir Benham. Yeah. Okay. A former banneret, Uther. Okay, so like maybe someone we saw at Mirkred or... Right. Yeah. Um, Definitely well, not there's... No. Uh, he was not... A, okay, so I'm not sure if this is an intrigue role or not, but he I'll used to rock... i intrigue if you want. Sure, roll intrigue. Yeah. Especially you. Yeah, okay. Yeah. He rocked and rolled with Brassius for a bit, but they had a little bit of like a couple, you know, respectable professional disagreements about things. Mm. And so he's kind of going is doing his own thing right now. Okay. Well, yeah, he kind of going solo. Him. It has to not work out for him that here. Yeah. Think of the special Inch. horse bloodlines. That's true. All right. Uh, Brassius. So Sir Brassius was one of Uther's um, supreme soldier soldier knights. It was, As uh, I recall, he was kind of a meathead. Yeah. Like, he Uther he's... never was particularly good at the whole politics thing, and Brastius definitely took after Uther in that regard. Yes, very much so. He is... Um, exactly. Brastius represents Uther's sort of, like, some, some of his worst traits, but not in, like, the Madoc, like, arrogant celebrity kind of way. Right, just very, yeah, just just very, very much might makes right kind of, um, kind of yeah. that dispassionate brutality. Uh, so Sir Benham disagreed with him, yeah, and um, Sir Benham found himself working solo. Say la vie. Sometimes it really do be like that. Sometimes, that's what would happen if we didn't yeah. have manners. Cool. Um, we're getting ready to go into Sarm, uh, Sarm feasts, right? Doing some Easter stuff. Everyone's yeah. favorite part. Uh, there was one little thing, though, to go over beforehand. Uh, a little bit of gossip as you all are cleaning up and getting ready to go to, go to feast. Uh, yeah, this is like months later, right? From, from the fight. Uh, so, there was an event that happened in Sarm this year. Uh, Cadwallon a lesser-known steward of Sarum, one of the many courtiers, courtiers that uh, inhabit its walls, um, died in a duel, a personal feud uh, with Sarum's blacksmith, apparently over some lover, some commoner lover. lover. Uh, once this was decided, uh, there was a lot of questions about whether or not the blacksmith, um, the other party, the responsible for the slaying, um, what should happen to him. Uh, Lady Jenna, um, had interceded from any judgment and declared pretty much on that same day uh, to forgive the blacksmith, uh, stating that Sarm could be sieged this winter and we need all the nails and tools to defend her. Uh, this has Good been... You, Lady Jenna. All this right. has been a... Uh, a complex issue. Um, as you all come in, different people have different opinions about it. Um, I'm interested in hearing your all's opinions on it. Um, various, not like factions are brewing over this, but you know, the general opinions abound represent stuff like, you know, Hey, this was a pretty pragmatic decision. Good job. Right. Uh, this was a compassion decision, you know, despite whether or not she shows that she has Earl Roderick's, you know, her, his, his best blood in him. Right. Or this was a reckless decision in a time when merchants and upstarts think they can be nobles. Right. The, you know, um, and Furthermore, you have people being like the blacksmith should be killed. Right? They don't Gareth have rights. Gareth likes that. I think, that, I think Gareth likes that decision. Yeah. 
think that's it's pragmatic. You know, it's pragmatic. Yeah. Uh, do you like that? that any artisan, just like you know. Yeah, right. It's it's important. Um, although this basically should not call any council or listen to any council as well. She's comfortable acting. On she her. is. She acted on her own, and more yeah. importantly, people like followed it. Yeah. Yeah. This is like we don't nail by. This is mm -hmm. like that commercial I keep seeing for some dating app where it's like the app meant to be deleted, right? Like in in the idealistic sense, they, that's what the young council has always been. The practical reality is there there are definitely people who don't want it to be rendered moot, but ultimately, Gareth is like. This is fine. This is what this. I would rather we have a strong, capable Lady Jenna that is at odds with the Young Council than a weak, useless Jenna. Yeah. Right. Ultimately, yeah, so like we're trying just, to. Yeah. 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 yeah you, get you get me. I get you. Yeah. Um, okay. So that's the talk of the feast. Uh, to return to the skirmish real quick, just to be clear, we didn't get any checks to our skills from that, did we? Because none of this no is, crits. It wasn't like a skill check. No crits, anything like that. No crits get wrecked. Cool, cool. Yeah. There you go. Okay. There you go. <laughs> I was aggressive, Eric. That's no, fine. Okay. I, I, listen, yeah. I figured that was the case. Just want to be sure. Right. Yep, yep, yep. Um, <laughs> I think if you would have went with the other way, I would have probably awarded checks for successful, uh, just sure. successes rather than crits. But if you want to fight and you want to gain prisoners and you want to make a, a statement and get oh, yeah, dirty, then we're statement. doing the yeah. whole thing, right? Yeah, yeah. Dope. Okay. Awesome. So yeah, uh, that is that is the main gossip going into the feast. There's a lot more gossip to be had, but that is something that you will absolutely all have heard. Um, lastly, the most important thing going into this feast is that Cornish fashions are totally in vogue. Um, remember the bolts of cloth that were given. Um, do you, those. if you, yeah, um, you'll be at minus one, uh, geniality if you are not wearing Cornish fashion. Yep. Now, Eric, that. I'm sure you can tell us what Cornish fashion looks like. No, I can't. Uh, it's, <laughs> it's just using the corner. It's basically the same, uh, as far as I can tell. They look, they look exactly the same. These are the ones from Prince Mark. Yeah, exactly. This is, these are, these are from Prince Mark's gifts. Um, and so you can yeah. see that Salisbury's culturally kind of going that way. Um, mm -hmm. Again, better than better than Saxons. Better than Saxons. And yeah, they're right, right. So everyone's showing off uh, the the ha ha couture. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> couturati. Uh, yeah, hadi couturati. I believe is the correct <laughs> French way of saying it. <laughs> um, let's see. There are. Erwin, um, you received correspondence from um, maybe not the Duke, but a courtier of the Duke of um, of Silchester. Um, a knight by the name of Gwilligid has died of illness this year. Oh. Um, who I believe you had, you were friends with. Yeah. Or at least met. You met him back in 490. Yeah. So you find out about that as well. Uh, there's some other stuff, but we don't have to worry about that. Oh, um, I think you all were interested in about getting mercenaries. Uh, yes, vaguely. Right. So here's that was. Yeah. Let me give you the list here. Um, yes. it's, it's not like there's a menu given at the <laughs> feast of Easter for mercenaries, <laughs> but uh, Sir Sir Rykirk's band of rough, untrained body and gruff men, five knights, fifty men afoot, twenty-seven Libram for this year. Any lower than that, because that's already out of my price range. <laughs> oh, it gets worse. <laughs> okay, no, never mind. Sir, Sir, Sir Obelot <laughs> and Sir Frakes are two elite, tactical, and very courteous knights. Uh, Ten men afoot, 32 Librum. <laughs> and then you have Sir Brassius, Brand, uh, Sir, Sir Brassius' band of men. The best. 20 knights, 100 men afoot, 500 basically like 
levies. So like basically a hundred like solid veterans and then just 500 people that, they, that are just, you show know, up. brute squad <laughs> that show up. 400 Librum. You are the brute squad. Um, yeah, which is why Sir Brass is banned. Librum. Yeah. Okay. Nope. Yeah. I th I'll King Idris was, was paying him, and... dude. Yeah. yeah. He was paying him. But, like, right. you can't pay 400 every year. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, no. Gotta <laughs> maybe, maybe you also are beginning to realize why maybe he was like, yeah, we're fucking taking the city. <laughs> you know right. what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Yep. Uh, yep. Nice. These people are not showing up at Salisbury. Uh, these are just mercenaries you know that are, are willing to be hired. Uh, these are just, you know, cool. uh, professional friends are telling you that this is sort of what the going rates are. Do okay. Now. This is why you cannot afford mercenaries. No. So right? this is why kings and earls and dukes afford mercenaries. This is they're is, just above Sir your price. Gareth, Sir Gareth has a lot of Instagram followers. So like <laughs> just like the exposure, exposure of working for Gareth. Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean if you want to save if you want to save one of their like, you know, Sir Brassius life as he's like drowning in a river or something and get him a pledge for a year, then you know, do that. But good luck. Just follow him around. Right? Yeah, just follow him around. Uh, <laughs> maybe maybe plant a river near him so you can frame him for it. Right? Yeah. <laughs> First but, you uh, try and drown him and then don't drown him, and that's basically like you saved his life. But uh I yeah. It. I wanted I yeah, I wanted to give you all a slice of life. Um, this was a suggestion by people in chat during my prep. Uh, they're like, you should just tell good. us how much they good. cost. And so now you know. Yeah. Now. Right. Yeah. I mean, here's the, like, technically I could hire Sir Reicher, Reich, Reichert. Yeah, but it would bankrupt yeah. you. It would literally bankrupt me. Yep, <laughs> yeah, I know. That's, yeah. that's what mercenaries do. Yeah. It's actually kind at of a same, good thing. At the same time, that, like, yeah. how much of that is, like, an investment? If there's, like, a castle I really want, Right. Yeah. A one year needed, expenditure yeah. that bankrupts me and suddenly I'm Castellan. Right. I don't know. But do you pay for five nights, then you go take over Rydican, you know? Like if you do that, then like maybe it's worth it. I don't know. Yeah. Right? Exactly. It's one of those things so, where yeah, if you not, get a castle. It's not on my horizon right now, but I, <laughs> right. and I get I But that's the point, right? Like much. Yeah. these <laughs> that's true. They don't... They're, they're always the vanguard. <laughs> pay for Lorne Hope. Go get in there. Yeah, man. That is that is what happens when you fight for gold. You get the bad job. Yep. <laughs> you, get the, you always get the worst job. We're bastards. Why? Well, that's why they want to pay up front. Right. Yes, that's <laughs> also why they get paid up front. Uh, so you said there's a, a penalty if we're not dressed in the Cornish style. Yeah, because um, everyone's kind of thinks you're 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 not with it. Yeah. yeah. Gareth is gonna. Keep this doesn't cost black. you. Yeah, this doesn't cost you anything. Yeah, this was this. We're just accepting the gift that you gave us last year. Oh God, dude! It's oh, sure. you're gonna make me roll. Like... You're you're gonna make me test Sarum's like general sense of oh gosh, spiritual maybe. What? My, my man's humble? been wearing. Humble. My man's been wearing. I gotta test humble. Black. I think. Right. <sighs> what? Prudent? No. Modest. Is it? It's got to be modest, right? Yeah, it's got to be modest. So I'm testing modest. Yeah, test your modesty. How well you pull it off? Yeah. Okay. No problem. You don't take the minus one, even though you're flexing technically, you're wearing your black instead of it. Yeah. You're not wearing the Cornish fashions, but you're in in grieving. So like. Yeah. Oh, sure, even though dude. we've established like some people definitely think this is. Which is why I'm rolling modesty to yeah. see whether or not the air what the what the general air is like you're you're mm -hmm. fine people yeah. give you a pass Gareth's gonna become the original black knight that's what <laughs> nice cool uh let's get ready to feast yeah we finally get the cards hopefully you all enjoyed those little sides those were interesting is oh, that okay. is sir elad the dude from american pie No. They are all these are all AI generated portraits. Which guy from it, American Pie? Uh hold on. I'm looking at him up right now. I always forget his name. Starring. Oh yeah, yeah. Eugene, uh, uh, Eugene Levy? The, the question. No. No. 
Sean William Scott. Sean William Scott. I do not know. Stifler? Stifler. That's like a young Stifler. Tell me I'm wrong. Sir Elad? The boss? Oh, no. Oh, oh the, the kid. Other Elad. The young Elad down there. Young Elad. Next to Corumbus. Yeah. You... Okay. I see it. I see it. Oh. I, thought I can kind of see it. Yeah. That's but... Stifler. No, no, I mean, that's Other not Sean William like, Scott. This is an AI generated portrait, but <laughs> yeah, I'm just saying I can't help but see. And with older yeah. Elad, yeah, that he's definitely a little shit, looks though. like Jeremy yeah. Irons. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I see that as well. Yeah, um, Jeremy yeah, Irons right next to a mix of Tarkin and the G Man. Yeah, Sir Lycus mm. is still around. <laughs> yeah, dude, this guy cool. won't die. Yeah, John Hurt, you, that's what you get when you mix. Patrick Stewart and uh, John Hurt together. Certainly. Yeah. yeah. It's pure. Guy's like pushing 90, man. I was going to say. All right. Good Just, for him. Good for him. Are Fueled by still. rage, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Just, Just look, he, it looks like he has red eyes. Yeah. It's rage at the world. Yeah. I mean, he's mm -hmm. probably not doing too great. No. He, he cries a lot. What an old He weeps. Cuss. He weeps for the world and what has been lost at the end of Pendragon. Mm hmm. Oh. All right, I didn't roll my appearance yet. Oh, yeah, I should do that. Yeah, go ahead. The marine guy. <laughs> Still pretty, boy. Oh, Jim. All right, uh, Colin, you're getting a bonus, right? I believe that's what happens. Uh, If I... Yes. You're getting... um. A plus no a apple determines no wait it it just yeah. determines right it, it determines your place yeah um uh, near the salt you, yeah near the salt uh, a fail means you're below the salt but you're in good company glory bonus for that uh no. I mean, I know. Yeah, I, it just means I you can test game. fashion. Uh, it's fashion's one. Right. Fashion gives you a bonus to appearance. Appearance dictates yeah, which is a bonus. Yeah. All right. All right Jim, see. you're up first. Yeah. You no, know, I think. I think he might intrigue. Sure. Gossip. Well, gossip. What would you like to? What would you like to find out? He is curious uh, um, how the the born Confederates uh, doing, like just in the in the minds of the of Greater uh, Salisbury. What's the opinion of it? How are people sort of perceiving it? This is they've had two times that they've ridden out now to like drive off a of war band. Yeah. Uh, so that's what he's. Uh, that's what he's. Great question. Um, will you be testing intrigue or courtesy? Oh, both at 15. Are you asking a trusted person on court? Like, what? hey, what do you think? Or are you sort of just kind of letting whatever come to your ear and judge from there? I am... I'm letting whatever comes to Erwin's ear. He right. wants to know what, like, just... You know, he doesn't want to solicit it because he's afraid that... Not afraid, but he's doesn't want a an answer colored by his question. Then that's intrigue. Yeah. yeah. Right. If you want, you, if you want the actual unvarnished truth. Yeah, yeah. Courtesy or, or, or intrigue. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah. Well, you get a varnished one. Um. Cool. So I think I think for the most part, the people you're asking are. Uh, I think, I think you're maybe asking. Yeah, I, I boy, I think it would be really funny if you ended up talking to like someone kind of near above the salt or about it, and so they're, mm -hmm. and they're, it still look very patronizing. Sure. Right. They're like that's nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So just no, yeah, no real. Um, no people. People still think of you that, uh, as that like, oh well, it's a good thing you don't have a castle. Sure. Right. But they don't. Ah, pff, the people you've went across, they're nothing. Yeah. Yeah. No, you can fight someone your own size without a castle, but what do you do when someone bigger comes? Kind of thing, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. I think that's probably the forebodingness that you get. Yeah, that yeah. that 
there is there is spirit in you, but it's not an um you still haven't truly been tested. Sure. Which you probably find kind of hurting. Because your wounds from this, yeah, this yeah, past still, is still a little still sore. Just now right? healing. Yeah, they're they've <laughs> certainly healed, right? There's no um the scars are no fresh. mechanical problem, but it's just that hurts. It feels like the wounds uh -huh. are still there. Cool. Uh, right. and you'll gain a geniality. For for doing the doing a little intrigue and Colin. Yeah. You get a geniality. Definitely. Yes. Because of how handsome I am. Correct. Very right. Okay. Uh ooh, is that host? You get a more drink. host? No. No, it's a hold one. Alone. Offer ladies and gentlemen. Or chance encounter. Okay. That has appeal. Alone, a knight asked me. That's interesting because I am rich. Yeah, that, that's like a thing that I'm known to be. <laughs> yes. Uh, then the last one is more drink. I'm not doing more drink. That's no longer who Gareth is. Mm -hmm. This is a tough one. I I'm leaning towards a chance encounter. Because I like putting Eric on the spot to come up with this, with what these are. Love it. The other one's much easier to resolve. Just like, ah, oh, here, here's some money, and get, I get a check. But this one, there's, there's some risk to me. I could, I could fail this role. Right. And also, like, I don't know. I'm, I'm a 36 year old knight. People come to me sometimes. Yeah. Um, a lady asks you. This is something that she may, she maybe she's a little drunk. She asks you this. Uh, in the way that maybe she would have asked Elaine, right, your late wife, about, um, she's in love. She is the wife of some knight in Sarum, who was not really great. He ended up getting himself ransomed, and she's wondering, is it worth it? Is there what is the honor in filling? You know, like. He's he's not a good knight for Sarum, not a good husband for her. Uh things are not great. Um what do you do? There are great many <laughs> things in a marriage that may upset the humors. The only true cuckold is calamity. A man who loses himself once has suffered fickle fate twice, three times. And one wonders if the man is simply lost. I would not abandon someone from one ransom. But neither would I stay with a man after three or four. Well, this is not his first time, but it's certainly not his third or fourth. How old are you? That's not a polite question. That wasn't an answer. 26. A young woman. She lies, she's 28. Yeah. A young woman may outlive a young man's calamity. Do you have such the virtue of time? She scans the uh, banquet hall. A few eyes catch her eyes. I believe I might. Then you did not need me at all, it turns out. But glad I am that I could offer what assistance I could. Um, prudent first, probably check to prudent. Yeah, that was like kind of a little bit ruthless. And I mean, like, not cruel and not cruel, but it's like that if you're playing it safe, like if you're worried about things like your husband getting ransomed, take note of if there's a pattern. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. 
So she's going to pay the ransom, um, but also begin to um, secure an exit strategy. Nice. Okay. Uh, oh, so I have to roll prudent. Yes. No, uh, you just gain the appropriate check. Mm, no. Oh, you have to test it. Yeah, 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 you do. Look at that. Okay. And my prudence not great. Yeah, no, I don't get the check. Hmm. I, I think that means, it, I mean, I don't think that was particularly stunning advice. So, yeah. I don't think it pushes the boundaries of prudence. Or do, it doesn't make you realize anything about yourself. Yeah. Okay. And, okay, I think the implication here is that she's like sitting with me now. Keep this card, discard this card if you interact with another lady. Yeah, she's sitting next to you. That makes sense. Ah, maybe it's Lady Glesney. <laughs> maybe she's here alone because her husband is like riding back from being ransomed. That would make sense. This is the time of, of settling ransoms. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll settle mine after Easter Feast. Uh, Jim. Oh, you, you all, I cannot believe you players. Wow. Holy shit. You didn't, you're going to let me do this whole feast without rolling what food we're eating. Oh. Parsley bread. Parsley oh. bread. Parsley oh. bread. Stuffed boar. This is a great feast. Stuffed boar. I I love boar. I used to have yeah. these boar burritos when I worked at this bar. Oh, they were great. And glazed eggs. I don't know what they're glazed with. I've never had something that wasn't glazed with something delicious. It's kind of true. No eels, though. Yep, garbage no beasts. Eels. Throw it out. Also, no eels. Uh, apparently, no uh, eels. our exploits do not translate that well across the pond. Um, pasties, are, pasties are what you put on nipples, and it's pasties. pasties. Pasties are what you actually eat. That's on us. Apologies, but Thanks. very good to know. We will we will be carrying that information. Glazed eggs. I've already forgotten. <laughs> there were Cornish burritos. Yes, burritos. Burritos. They're glazed Cornish eggs are a Cornish thing. thing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. There you go. How to prepare an egg glaze? <laughs> I'm used to glazing things like with egg, right? Yeah. So it's how you get the nice browning, mm -hmm. crispy. Yeah. What do you do when? When the egg itself is what you so it looks as though the egg is that's what they're calling a pastry bakers and pastry chefs use a glaze uh okay, well it's when you bake something and it gives it that nice so golden I'm... warm yeah, thing i don't think i don't what think if they're edible pasties for nipples that's a good question very yeah that's a real pressing question okay all right anyways po pokemon next round. Glaze eggs. yeah um so are we going three rounds for the feast? Hell yeah. It's Easter. Okay. Uh, then Erwin is going to gossip regarding... You can lady. just fish for stuff too if you don't have a... Yeah, he doesn't have anything in particular. He just wants to get, get the mood of the, uh, the place for the second round. Hell yeah. Cool. Can you roll a D3 for me, please? One. Awesome. So... Um... The mood here is uh, strangely hopeful. Um, they think that Idris is not going to come here as a conqueror, but come here as a as a liberator. Um, they think that you know they're not going to put up a fight, and they think that Idris is going to be cool, and um, that's where that's how things are going to go. That's However, new king, of Corn new king of Cornwall. Yeah, um, a couple things that you learn. Um, you learn that Saxons are squabbling. They will not be a problem this year. Yes. Nice. Over the uh, Saxons of Kent are fighting the Saxons of Wessex. Um, the Utes. They're like they're the Utes are at it again. The mm -hmm. Utes. That is that is the gossip. That is that is the current gossip. Um, I'll throw in one, but another one too, because I I'm feeling generous. Rumors tell of a man-eating beast north of the uh, north of Oxford with a howl that can frighten even a bear. Man-eating beast. Yes. I don't like all these. People things. just. I mean, I feel like people just call, say man-eating beast because they're afraid, 
Uh, right. <laughs> but like, it's do you know like anyone a... who has been eaten by it? Well, no, mm. but <laughs> it's, it's, it's scared a bear. Better, huh? It's <laughs> yeah, it scared me, and it scared a bear. Did it? Did it though? Yeah, it should. It's, like, it's that scary. <laughs> a man-eating beast has. No one has lived to tell its tale. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Those tell me more. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. So um. All right. It's okay. So I would not. So, I would not just give you something that has no grain of truth to it, though. Sure. Sure. So everybody's hopeful about King Idris coming as a liberator. Yes. Guess, liberate us from the Saxons. Yes. Hundred percent. Okay. Right. New Earth. New Earth. Cornish Uther is what I'm hearing. Cornish yeah. Uther. Yeah. Newther. <laughs> Newther. Newther. <laughs> That's what's so dumb. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Well, we have to we have to get through from A Aether all the way yeah. to Qther before Q-ther. we get to Arthur, right? Sure. Yeah, there's so, a lot. Certainly. You're right about that. <laughs> You're absolutely right. That makes perfect right. sense. Yep. Cool. He is from the Saxon yoke. Yeah. But um that uh that rumor thing is my little there's a nod to the four sauvage kind of stuff. If you yeah. know that's yeah, yeah. that sounds like it. All right, I got some interesting cards. I got more food, meh. Uh, passing lady, passing praise, and here, biggest mistake. And the the passing praise, I think, is interesting because it just it immediately torpedoes whatever relationship I've got going on with this other lady. Like it immediately. T- Tosses that card out. Lady Glessing. Uh, yeah. Um, the biggest mistake. I, I think this is the card that had me fighting Barrel last year. And my Ori is very bad. Several knights talk Mary of their greatest gaffes. Is your gaff not about Merlin and helping him? Oh, that's true. What yeah. is what is your? Uh, yeah, I I like that. I got a fifteen percent chance of telling this story in a way that doesn't end with me dropping my spaghetti everywhere. I like that you're bragging while in mourning. That's, that's a good look. And, and maybe maybe that's it. Maybe the way I tell it is just like like Eeyore. I think that one's going to win. Colin, yeah. I want to appreciate you so much as a player where you don't, you turn off the optimal brain and you're like, nah, Bo, but this is the right one. It's special. I mean, if we want to talk optimal, the truth is I'm going to get a glory regardless of the card itself. So I have a 15% chance of getting a pretty nice bonus on top of that. Uh, one test appearance and one test orate. Yeah. One like and results appearance... in a duel. <laughs> yeah, it's just more interesting. Like if if I'm gonna I I just want to get that one geniality. Like honestly, per turn, that's as optimal as I get with this. Okay, let All me right. just roll all right. Here we go. Test or right. Here we go. Fuck. Nailed it. And now test proud. I think I think I try to t- tell it like a story, uh like a um a bad example story and it just comes off as like kind of pity self pity and I crit pride wait so we're supposed to roll proud or humility? no you're supposed to roll proud on a on success a su- fuck it's you a critical one success of them. it's barrel again isn't it dude it's gotta be barrel Oh, Fuck. <laughs> fucking barrel, all right. dude! All right, all right, uh, all right, all right. Are you dueling someone again? I'm challenging dueling the, the same you person you know, again. Spoon's got it. You challenge all of them to a duel. <laughs> yeah, three on one. No, uh, it's got to be barrel again. Got to be barrel. 
Oh my god. He told you to stop wearing black. Yeah. Yeah. That <laughs> uh. was Pedrog. Wasn't it? Was it Pedrog? Oh, was it? I have no. Pedrog. Oh. But still. It's just the second time someone's duelled. Yeah. Oh yeah, it is Pedrog. It's why you're, and that's why you're watching him because he's he's getting right. it's getting in his head. Yeah, it's, it's Pedrog. It's Pedrog. Yeah, Pedrog. We got the name. A lot of names. It's okay. A lot there's of names. Lot, it's Pedrog. A lot though. of NPCs. Yeah, because there are two barrels as well. I think. Yeah. I think there was a background NPC that was barrel. Yeah. And then there was my squire barrel. <laughs> yeah. Fifteen Pedrogs. Oh. <laughs> there are literally fifteen Pedrogs. Two two Elads, five Glessigs. <laughs> it's the Fuck. did you just right. open like 15 pendragon collectible card game boosters <laughs> crash cards yeah you want to play the pendragon gotcha game mm -hmm. got the rare mm -hmm. gareth in morning card <laughs> yes yeah, turning out not to be so rare huh no <laughs> It's All like right, so they're... we don't have the duel. We don't have the duel. Do the duel right now, but yeah, um, we will do the duel this session. Yes. Okay, that's funny as hell. That's great. So you can order glazed Scotch eggs uh, from this one place, and according to the Hungry Girl in Korea blog, they are hard-boiled eggs. They're peeled and then simmered in some kind of liquid. Okay. Eggs. Like they have a recipe for soy glazed eggs. This okay. Is, this is the hardcore research that I'm willing. I eat it. <laughs> I don't think there have been a lot of feast trays that we've rolled randomly that I wouldn't eat. Most of them sound pretty sure. good. Yeah. Yeah. It seems alright. I think it's jellied stuff is the furthest. I don't trust that. anything Colin says about food. Colin eats like stale ass Parmesan chips in the back of his <laughs> fridge that are <laughs> that are like a year out of date. I. <laughs> I told you that in confidence. You told me that on a Fall Guys stream. I don't remember that. Oh, God, I was eating it on stream. No, you're yeah, right. You yeah, were. No, don't trust me. Don't talking? trust me. That's a problem. I'm a fucking I'm not gonna, goat. Uh, yeah, I, I'm not going to air out your shit that you tell me in private. But uh, if you, if was, you tell me on something stream. on a stream, I'm going to... Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, yeah uh, I ate the, uh, the whole bag. Yeah. Monster. Okay. Uh, All right. So I decided to draw this round, and I okay. got three host cards. <laughs> Holy shit, dude! Yeah. Okay. Well, so I have a uh, host speaks at length, which would be energetic versus lazy. The host rises and drones on about the current political environment. I suppose this is whether or not I fall asleep or not, uh, or just sort of dismiss it. Um. <laughs> Host passes by, which I've played several times. Uh, Erwin always talks about his wife. I think he he's getting the hint. You know, he's like, I'm, I can't just keep talking about Lady Grade. I like this next one. Host calls for a hunt. Because uh, I sunk a bunch of points in hunting last time. And uh, the host asks you, it asks you and your friends to join them in a hunt or at Falcon. The council. The after the feats. The council, right? The council. Anyone who agrees to join the hunt receives a check for falconry or hunting. Player's choice. If you decline, uh, you have minus three genie. I could see so when this card could be very roll. interesting, but yeah, you don't even have to roll anything. It's yeah. just, do you agree to yeah. go? The, there'll be a hunt tomorrow. Yeah, I'm gonna play host calls for a while. Nice. Yeah. Do you want to use this hunt and your meetings as a way to get out of your duel? No. Because you're doing both right now. Yeah. Okay. That's where Gareth is emotionally. <laughs> okay. I I hear you. Uh, I should have two more for the uh, the lady card. Hmm? She gives me one geniality per turn. Oh, the card gives you geniality. Yeah. No wonder you're har you're harvesting it. Yeah. All right. I'm obviously also drawn. Let's see what we get. Uh, yeah. Oh, there's a host card, so I don't need. Uh, host calls for a dance. Oh. 
all players opposed dancing. Mm. So if you get at least a success, you're getting one geniality. If you There's, succeed yeah. better than us, it's two. And if, although I guess by default, because there are only two knights. No, there's not just no. two knights. I will be rolling other knights. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's fucking dance. All right. Th okay. This is the real duel. One, two, this is this is the real the dance duel. dance off. Yeah. Macklemore's dance off, mm -hmm. blasting in the background. So you get all those oh. geniality bonuses. To yours. <laughs> yeah, we do. I get I get them at least two because the one from skill rolling and one. I get five, six. I get six. That is, that's perfect. That it brings like, me above a coin flip, basically. Why are we dancing? <laughs> the true crucible Fuck. of man spirit. Oh, man. Still, I still beefed it. Hey, Irwin's in Look it. Look at that. <laughs> Failure. Uh, that was, the, big that was off. the role that I needed to win. <laughs> 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 15. We're going against Sir Helid. Sir Helid has a six. Fails. Uh, one more night. Ooh, Pedrog, your squire. My squire. Yeah, he's literally the last one on the floor. Yeah, your squire. Good Pedrog, not asshole Good Pedrog. Pedrog. The, the Saxon. <laughs> the Saxon. The Does the Saxon bust a move? Come on. Show us how it's done. It's a nine. No, he really ah. beeps it too. <laughs> okay. Beeps it. So then, uh, I'm rolling a d30. Did it? I I assume there's there's a lot. I don't know. I'm looking at the list of all of the different people mm -hmm. at the feast, and it's a lot. So I just rolled a d30. I assuming I don't get a thirty, where I would just roll and get whatever is there. Right, and just count up that way. But this is a rule D thirty. That's the last person, right? So the last person on the floor. I just wanted oh. to randomly determine uh, yeah. who I should be testing here. Erwin wins. So Erwin, right. you do okay. with a one. A <laughs> you just walk it in, dude. One. <laughs> so you get uh, regular successes too, and you're the winning character. So you get plus four geniality. Hey, sweet. Off of my card. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you very much. Erwin danced with his wife. You saccharine motherfucker. That's yeah, what it is. He's just, it's, yes. it's just so sweet it rots your teeth. God damn it, dude. Uh, I wish I had a medieval version of My Heart Will Go On. It, you're, like the dancing isn't good, but you're just both clearly having so much fun. Yeah, we don't care. It's yeah. fine. Everybody's, uh, too, everybody's tuned out. Uh, it's Easter. Come on. I got, I got the fur gloves she gave me on. Oh, yeah. Even Thanks for reminding, seasonal, remembering even that. Are, even though they're a season old, I got it on my character sheet even. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Well. Wow. Very good. Very cool. Love this shit. Mm. Let's do the... All right. Let's 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 uh <laughs> let's see how the sausage is made. All right. Um, Pedrog. Sir Pedrog is going to go after Sir Gareth. All right. Now, this time, I am not, as last time, melancholic. That true. was very true. Very yeah. True. This time, true. I'm not in. I'm not going in after any passions. I think I'm just pissed. Rematch. Yeah. Yeah. Erwin's not going to try to intervene either. Gonna, That's right, fine. They're going That's fine. And this, I, I don't think this is as tradition. high stakes. A lack. Yeah. The new tradition. <laughs> uh, love it. <laughs> All right. Um, so we have a second, uh, or seconds here. Mm -hmm. Um, we're obeying the forms again, chance to get out of it. Do your seconds, uh, try to do it or. Nope. I mean, I'll second peg drug cause he's in my house. Are we doing uh first blood again? Yeah. I think first blood. Yeah. That makes sense. Cool. I think this is how the the movie The Duelists starts, right? Mm -hmm. I hope Fuck so. Me, I've got man, <laughs> that's rough. Yeah, if he gets through, gets the mama. Oh, 
doesn't doesn't he doesn't i think i think that's the, that's an exchange where he tries like the same movie he did last year and like you'll have to work just a little bit harder to beat me this time mm. again are you oh my god are you kidding me he crits you and he crits <laughs> is that a major wound that's a major wound <laughs> yeah dude <laughs> that's wait you my had is, to yeah, taunt that's him he almost killed me man i had i have two hit points left so it's like an accident Oh yeah, is it? Is it? I mean, if it is, ooh, is man, it? <laughs> ooh, yeah, it's an accident. Okay. If would have, if we would have failed his mercy test, it would have, would have been cruel. All right, all right, uh, all I right. Mark, uh, the, I do have the page. Petrog's, <laughs> Petrog's gonna try to administer first aid. But obviously, you all are there too, and whoever has the highest first aid could probably do it. But so yeah. I'm, at, I'm not. <laughs> yeah, this is the only thing you have bookmarked. It's yeah. Uh, so I need to. I need to roll. I need to make a roll against my current hit points or fall unconscious. Okay. Oh damn! <laughs> That's my spleen. Hey. I'm, I'm up. I I don't go out. Oh. Yeah. Oh, well, good. I, uh, I. You're just. Yeah, I'm just really fucked up. Um. Now, I have, the only other thing I also have bookmarked is attributes lost. So, yes. uh, 2d6. 5, 3, yep. Mm. 4. Uh, a four. 4 is 2. What? Two attributes no, are affected. I, no, I roll on table 5, 3. Not 5, 2. Not the aging table. Yeah, not the aging. Just I just lose an attribute. Oh, so I roll one d six. No, look on so page. What you, you roll a two d six to determine the number of attributes that are affected, and then you roll a d six for each of those attributes. If that's for aging, aging yeah, is five is two, and then you consult five three for major wounds on page one forty nine. I just lose an attribute okay. on one through five, and then on six I luck out. Yeah. Okay. So two dexterity. Yeah. Well, you're not beasting tomorrow. Are you not hunting? Yeah. So I guess I get minus three geniality as well. Um, Pedrog does apologize. You know, Sir Pedrog will apologize. Or when you're supposed to keep your eye on this guy. Yeah. Yeah. God. God yeah. damn it, Gareth. He actually kind of blames you for being for doing it. Pedrog. Pedrog. Pedrog kind of blames you. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah. The feast is over then. I feel like that's on a, on a dour yeah. note. Um. <laughs> Sir, Sir Gareth the Buzzkill. <laughs> <laughs> Rip. Wow. Mm. Wow, wow, man. That is a... That's a hell. All right, so you do not get to check falconry or hunting. Correct, and you're going to be resting. Minus three geniality, so I go from. But you did check pride, so. Uh, is there a glory for being in that duel? No. 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 It is, it is what it is. Do you imagine a version of King Arthur Pendragon where you... Every glory you take, you take from someone else. Zero wow. sum glory. Yeah. <laughs> There's only a hundred thousand glory in the game. Yep. <laughs> yeah. That's that's the capitalist version of Pendragon. Mm -hmm. It's closed. It's closed have a system. Start hoarding glory. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, okay. Final final feast result calculations then for glory. One, two, three, four, five, six, sixty glory for you, Gareth. Minus three because I'm not going on the hunt. Yes. 
No, no, no. I wasn't including the hunt. No. If, oh. If I don't go on the hunt, I take I lose three geniality. Yeah, so. you do. You decline. So thirty glory. Damn, dude. Mm. Hedrock had that moment of like looking at his sword and realizing like he did that, you know? Mm -hmm. Um, And Gareth is now trying is now trying to make sense of his poor performances in these and wondering if like he's just punishing himself using yeah. a head drug. Yeah, you got you have some introspection. Uh what well, Pedrog's own introspection. While he did it mercifully, he is going to swear to not duel for a year. Good for him. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe there's hope yet. Sometimes you roll a five, and sometimes he crits. Yeah. You know, I don't roll. I don't roll particularly well, but I do end up getting some crits. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. I think it's because these people have pretty subpar stats, and I roll subpar, so like I crit more often. <laughs> That's true. What's, yeah, what, what does he have? Like an eight? So let's. <laughs> oh, I rolled an eight. <laughs> like, okay. Yeah. God, his. He, I am so much better a swordsman than him. Yeah. He keeps kicking my he ass. Just keeps kicking your ass. Oh my god. Up and down. Got, yeah. but at this point, it's like, does any like these are the last two duels that Gareth has been in in public since the the judicial duel, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. yeah. So and seven damage, or when you got sixty. Yeah. Nice. cleans up again at the feast, even below the salt. It's good stuff. Possible he's going to get 600 or 6,000 glory this year. Oh, that would be awesome. That's you. We're now almost... <laughs> it's... Right. I'm so happy for you, friend. <laughs> it's not like we're keeping score or anything. No, no. <laughs> we're co we're, it's cooperative. Yeah. Uh, there we're are... playing games are a conversation. Yeah. Um, oh, just, just a conversation. Tribute. Competitive conversation. <laughs> uh, questions. Question about tribute this year. Um, King Idris has altered the deal. Um, you can pay tribute to him, or you can send mercenaries again. Um, rather than just a strictly like an alliance thing. Um, there are no Saxon emissaries this year. They're dealing with their own shit. But, oh, uh, yeah. Uh, they're... Prince, what's his name on there? Prince, uh, yeah. I just why it's not here. The other one, the pretty boy. Kurdic? Yeah. Kurdic's here. Um, he, want, he is one you could pay. Uh, Idris wants stuff. Uh, Kurdic wants stuff. And Siagrius wants stuff. But Siagris isn't here. Siagris uh, can fuck off. So. An emissary. Yeah. But the Saxons are okay. tied up in their own business, squabbling. We can... Yeah. So you can choose not to pay anybody if you want. I mean, so I, I don't mind paying Kurdic. I think we've agreed he's kind of an okay dude. Yeah. Well, he's the one who's like, he was he's on the Isle of White. Yeah. Isle of White. Okay. Yeah. I don't, I think that's fine to pay, pay him. And Kurdic, hmm? we're gonna say something, Gareth. Uh, I think Gareth wants to do mercenary service again. I I just think that I think this is where Gareth is. Like, he, he doesn't he doesn't want to be home. That's that's where Elaine should be. And so long as he's out on the road, he can pretend that she's still back there. Oh. Yeah. And it's not like it's very real. It's not like the manor is going to fall into disrepair. I pay a really good steward. It just yeah. means that he doesn't have he now it's okay for him to sleep alone. 
now he's sleeping alone because he's on the campaign trail, not because there isn't someone in the bed next to him. All right. Uh, do you want to go with King Idris again? Yeah. Even though that was you laughed on a very awkward. Hey, look. If, if it's only weird if he makes it weird. <laughs> okay. Wait, would he, could I go? I guess I could go mercenarying out on my own. No, um, there are. Well, I didn't mention it, but since you want to go mercenary, there are other options for you. Okay. Um. So obviously, I already mentioned the war in Cornwall, right? Idris, uh, Idris definitely wants um, mercenaries. Uh, the Earl of Dorset, uh, Idris's next um, opponent, kind of was also hiring mercenaries. Right. Um, so if you want to be on the other end, uh, you can be. You can actually go to war and uh, mercenary with the Saxons if you want. No. They're hiring Saxons. Uh, and then lastly, uh, there's a war in Gales. Gales? Yeah. In Wales? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna test something here. Uh, I'm gonna test pride versus reckless. Um, or prudent versus reckless. Because I think, uh, Idris is the prudent choice. Right? We have a political relationship, Salisbury to Idris. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I can make money and perhaps repair some of yes. me being petty so, and him being an asshole um, with that service. So here's something to remember about the, the last one, though, with Gales. Remember, uh, Nantalot is kind of like, kind of buddy-buddy with uh, Siagrius. Mm. Right? Like, Siagrius was kind of like hiding out on his lands. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. He's that guy. Yeah. If that, I, be, I didn't, I didn't want to rob you of this cool test, no, but I no, wanted to no. give you the extra I, I information. I think that makes it better. I think that makes it better because I think yeah. it's going to be Gareth kind of trying to get a little more info on like yeah, he's where maybe Siagrius is laying his head down these days. Right. And yeah, so I think if Prudent wins, we're going with uh, Idris. If Reckless wins, we're going yeah. to uh, Gale. Shit, I misspoke. I'm wrong. I got okay. Astral. You're fighting in Astrologus. Escavalon and Astrolog Astragales are like next to each other. Mm -hmm. uh, Estra so Astragales, Estra Astragalus, Astragales. You look at the big map. Yeah, these big map. Are going in one head, out the other, in one yeah. year. I don't. So, you, uh, if you remember, you went through Escavalon towards Astra uh, Astragalus. Yes. Okay. So there were a lot of names. I I knew they're in the same rough area, and I forgot that they're this, they have just similar names. Apologies. You can see how I I could have gotten them mixed up. Certainly, yeah, certainly. Um, okay. Where's Pelinor from? Which uh, one? north. North. Okay. So he's okay. I, uh, reckless one. So I think I'm going Estragales. Okay. Stragales. Easter Gales. Easter Gales. Easter Gales. Easter Gales. Right. Yeah, people who actually live in these areas must be. They're just going to, yeah, their teeth are Natural. ground down to a pad or powder. Yeah. Rending sackcloth. Right. Which one of these is Wessex? Because I know that it's not. We're in Wessex. They, they took. Uh, we're, we're this. Like Tintagel, Devon, Giant, Salisbury, that this is all, I think, Wessex. Okay. It's not a particular uh, one of these. Yeah. Oh, God. I'm thinking of like historically the last kingdom, Alfred the Great Wessex. Oh, sure. Than, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. In that sense, yeah. I, mean, I have no idea. In, in the Arthurian sense, I'm not yeah, sure. Yeah, for sure. Okay. Because it was Wessex and Kent that are fighting each other. Potentially get Essex. away with not. So like, um, Anglia. So like, this. Oh, I had the wrong tool open. These guys oh, yeah. up here, well, the OGs are fighting the the youths down here. So they're gotcha. Okay. Uh, back back at um St Albans, they were you were fighting the combined might of both of them. Okay. All right then. And they're technically completely different tribes. 
and sure. Prince Acewin is Kentish. Yes. He's Kentish. And then God, maybe Kenrin that's where he goes. Uh, hang out, hang out with my, you my could. Prince buddy. Yeah. Yeah. That actually would make sense. That would kind of make more sense than. I don't know, but you have hatred of Saxons. Uh, but I don't know. I like don't, I have my hatred of Saxons is six. I, I oh, that's kinda, true. Yeah. Kind of hate Saxons. Okay, and maybe uh, and, and you'd still and be maybe, killing Saxons. That, yeah, no, like maybe that's his. My logic is like, I'm good. The Saxons are going to pay me to kill Saxons. Okay. Yeah. And you have an in, so yeah, yeah I like it. Yeah, and, cool. and this, I don't think this would be terribly scandalous because we've hosted Acewin for a while. Yeah, no, this yeah. is this isn't this isn't this isn't uh, at all. Um, again, like the Saxons have become, they're and still that's... like the the scary other of the world, mm -hmm. but they have adopted more of your ways. Like they've they've been here for hundreds of years now, right? Yeah. Um, while they're farming okay. and things are still a little different, uh, they. Uh, you're beginning more and more alike, and especially like Ulfius has been kind of dealing with them a lot, right? You you all are kind of insulated from it over in Salisbury. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure. Yeah, so I think I think I'm gonna go be buddies with Ace Win. Okay. Oh boy. All right. Nice. Jim, you can play Ace Win, and we'll be having sure. adventures. Great. Yeah. Cool. Uh, now I'll go find. Everyone's gonna stay. <laughs> yeah. Now I'll go find a Pen Dragon Saxon supplement so I can right. play this up, up right. Saxon Shore. Um, so we're, we're paying tribute to Wessex and then King Idris, yeah. Yeah. Is that that? Okay. Both of them. Yeah. Okay. So that means you're going to be reducing your lifestyles with results by the end of by two. Yeah. Mm. We've done that yeah. before. Yeah. We have done that before and it did suck. It, did it does suck. suck. It basically means you're paying for like four Librum. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Got to feed the horses. Yep. Yeah, Good we stuff. Have, we've then. got some saved up. Okay. We need it. So we're going to do that uh, next year. Erwin, what do you intend to do? He's going to stay here and keep uh, defending the uh, the river, serving as what, you know, whatever the yeah. council needs it political. to. Political. Political cool. stuff. Just, you know, keep nice. an eye on everything. Yeah. I'll come up with some political squabbles and stuff like that, but then I think I think you should expect the majority of the adventure to be Ace Win and uh, Erwin mercenary. Fun times. Sounds good. Contextualizing my choice to go to Kent off that conversation Gareth and Irwin had right before the big duel, right? Where it was like, like, buddy, you can't keep bringing chaos to Salisbury. Mm -hmm. I think yeah. Gareth's like, I'm going to leave Salisbury more often. Like, sure. Yeah. I think that's where his head is. It's like, Wife's dead. I, but if I can grab fortunes with both fists, maybe my kids are going to be fine. I, I'm okay not being fine. Yeah, this is just who I am now. Yeah, nice. Uh, folks in chat were wondering about the ransoming and how that's going to work and how how that. Uh, so you would you would basically send it out sometime this year, probably around winter, like where it is, and then you get the money next year in spring. So you wouldn't get the money this year. Uh, the ransom you would get the money the following year in at Easter. I think that that was the option you gave me when I originally took a swim. Yeah, but, but that was, was like, like nah. literally a lifetime ago. Of lifetime like pre COVID. Fuck it. What? <laughs> no. Like, you know what I mean? Like, we're coming up on almost a year for the game. Yeah. I think we've been playing for more than a year Yeah. already. It was a decade and a half. I think we game. started in August. No, no, you're right. I think you're right. We either started in like August or November mm -hmm. 2018. We can just look at the YouTube. Time yeah, stuff. I'll check the YouTube episode. <laughs> one. I don't, I don't even know anymore. How would you possibly? But um, I was thinking about it for year five hundred. Like, you know, we are, we're getting along in this game. Yeah, uh, it feels pretty good. It's pretty good. Like, you know, it's so like eighty good. plus years of actual game, and we're in the twenties. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. So, I've got uh, end of October. Okay, that's our first. That sounds about right. I don't know that yeah. that can count in character. Hmm. Awesome. Very cool. cool then. All right, Let's everybody. Some of the yeah. All right. So that's that's our session today. Uh. So then part two, we know what to do. This is good stuff, y'all. This Very is good. this game's Very great. Good. Love this game. Hmm. It's so special. Uh. It's so different than anything else.
Um, someone else in uh, YouTube brought up a really, really good uh, comment about how this game is probably not for some of the D&D fans who, who love to like play the doll game where you craft your character and there's build <laughs> rather than playing to find out oh, who your character the doll is. doll game is great. <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, the, doll, know, the, the doll figure... fights back is the thing. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I can try and put the dress that I want on Gareth, but yeah. Gareth has ideas and yeah. Gareth's going to wear the dress that Gareth wants, not the one I want Gareth to want. <laughs> This this game is like it it really scratches that itch of I want this to be as real as it I want it to feel as real as it can be right like mm -hmm. you have to watch your manner your 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 character has other ideas than what you absolutely it it does have like I think the mistake a lot of people make is the realism is in the control of these details and it's not it's the the lack of control is often the most realistic part of these characters. Right. <laughs> it's not having choices. It's how do you deal with the thing you've been given rather than do you take the thing? Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. It's very much how do you deal with circumstances as when they come to you? Yeah. yeah. It's more reactive than proactive. Yeah. Yeah. Love it. Awesome. Meanwhile, right. Irwin's off hunting after the. Exactly. Yeah, he's get fine. that check. He checks his hunting. He's I assume fine. you were going hunting. Yeah. 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 Nice. The yeah. smash yeah. cut between Gareth in bed, covered in bandages again, <laughs> and Erwin yeah. hunting. Loosen it up with the Regents Council. Yeah. Yeah. This is, it's definitely um, different. This game is definitely different than D&D, &D, for sure. Very different. Yeah. Yes. Um, very, so very much. Yeah. Uh, actually, um, Crash mentioned in chat here about how it's it's a little bit it's more abstract, which I guess yeah. for us we we dig. Yeah, I really I, like the abstraction. Yeah. Yeah. It's um it's a, we're, uh, to use the parlance I think Trooper, um, academic Foxel, you know them. Um, yeah. he's he, he talks about uh, actor stance and author stance, right? We're we're very often in author stance here. Sir. Yeah, we get to have performative moments, but a lot of what we do is writing the sort of story of these mm -hmm. these angry mm -hmm. little dolls yeah 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 yes it's very, yeah i like i love the abstraction of it because it allows you to just play on these multiple levels yeah. you know we can zoom in if we want or we can mm -hmm. just like skip five months Right. I, I say I say it all the time like I love how we all can literally just without kind of saying it know like we're zooming in mm -hmm. uh, at this point right Versus just kind of hand waving it, like we didn't we didn't have to see what Pedrog actually said to you to do the duel. Like we kind of yeah. know, and we just, and, and instead we just jump to the aftermath. But then I'm like still kind of dwelling on, even though we're kind of past it, like kind of like what he would say and what he's thinking about and giving up duel. You know, like I just like I'm just thinking of that. I don't know, just first everything. It's it's very fun. Yeah. But uh, yeah, not getting. We don't. We try not to get bogged down too much. No, no. you don't need to play out every second every two weeks from. One to twenty. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. We don't have to take life every five foot square at a time. There you go. Yes. No, we just we live major wound to major wound. Major yes. Wound to major. <laughs> and sometimes those major wounds are hit point damage, and other oh, times man. they're just right in the heart. Awesome, Trans everybody. Very cool. Colin, outros. Anything for us? Hi, I'm Colin Volcanet, and I'm handsome. You can Correct. find my uh, work on the link I'm going to drop in chat. It's on itch, phantomrollbooth.itch.io or some shit like that. You know, there it is. Uh, I write little garbage mini games. I'm still working on one. It's proven a little bit of a bear, but keep an the, eye on uh, Twitter, Cyber at Beast. Colin, at like I see. The Cyber Beast knows what you want. What is it? Neon. The Neon, Neon Beast and where it feeds. There we go. Yeah. Much less cyberpunk and much more depressing than whatever you're um, how about Brian Blessed is hiding in this garden somewhere? I pretty good. I, illegally, I can't say that I made that because then I think I there are liability issues if someone actually plays it or pays oh, money you just, for it. You found it in uh, a cave. I I found it in the darkest nethers of my soul. Right, it was already written. <laughs> Some something came out of me when I wrote it, and mm -hmm. I can't put it back. Perfect. No need. No need. <laughs> Wonderful. Jim, what's uh, going on with you? Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, I'm Jim. Uh, 
I'm over at WebDM on our uh, YouTube channel, and I'm actually, I think next week, our first uh, episode of The Dark Eye uh, is going to drop over on WebDM Plays. Uh, I think it'll be on our Twitch channel first, and then it'll be. So you can watch me completely like a deer in the headlights, lose it as I'm, uh, when I introduce my character, I'm like, uh, their name is Garion, and that's all I know. <laughs> <laughs> like it was one of those it was one of those sessions so hopefully uh grant is able to pull something out of the terrible 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 game anyone session. can have to be great everybody else was great <laughs> i was gonna say the same thing long time I, friend i i've not read dark eye but i i want to see it played i'm really curious you know by by the end of the session i was kind of feeling the 3d 20 roll and and mm -hmm. uh for your skills combat is still a little like i'm not sure what's going on like by the end of it, I was like, okay, I kind of see where you're going. It's all in German on the roll twenty uh, character <laughs> sheet, though. So, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that makes sense. So yeah, but yeah, that'll be next week uh, on our Twitch channel, and then eventually on YouTube. Uh, so yeah, go check that out. Yeah, perfect, awesome, thanks. And you know me, you know where to find me. So I'm not gonna waste any of your all's time. Thank you so much. Thanks for hanging out. And uh, we should be good next week and continue out and finish uh, year 500. Yeah. So thanks to everybody. And uh, yeah. we'll, we'll see you next week. Take care.